Hey everybody, I'm getting ready for Christmas. I've been a little excited about this for a while now. I don't know why. Anyways, I picked up these little bins. These are just some ideas I've had. I picked up these little bins at the dollar store for like 50 cents a piece. So I bought three of them. One for uh, each of my daughter-in-laws and one for a daughter-in-law's mother. She tends to keep my grandkids, so I want to stockpile her with some stuff, too. Anyways, for my, my daughters, I've been picking up some things that I think will help them out. Um, these are uh, suckers with elderberry. Organic. They're pretty nice. I, I thought this might be something for when the kids get sick. And then I've got uh, some chapstick for each of them, along with the mother-in-law. And um, one of the things that I did was some, I gathered seed. Now what you're looking at is um, Easter grass. I went to a garage sale and I found it for free and I thought it's perfect. I can stuff each of these little bins with a different color and make out um, a little chest of things for them in case they get sick or something or the grandkids get sick or whatever. Anyways, as far as the seeds go, I went out and I collected some uh, wild seed, um, catnip, um, mullen, uh, some daisy type seeds, things like that. Anyways, um, after I collected the seeds, let them dry and everything, I downloaded this program from a place called Grow Fully that um, you make these little seed packets. It's got everything already on it. That's all you got to do is print them out, fold them up, and tape them closed. And I bought some little, little dinky Ziplocs. The, these have earrings in them, but I bought some little Ziplocs just to put the seed in so that you didn't lose anything out of here. Now, when I have all of this ready, I'm going to get some um, some of the little desiccant packs, and I will put them in with the seeds, and vacuum pack it probably with my vacuum sealer. Anyways, one of the other things that I bought was an essential oil gift set. It's got droppers in it, and it's 100% pure. Anyways, I've got lavender, eucalyptus, peppermint, orange, lemongrass, and tea tree in here. I'm not going to use them all, just simply because I want to put these in some inhalers that I bought. You can get most of this stuff pretty cheap. This is an Amazon thing. It's got the uh, the wicks that goes in them. And I'll probably use a lavender and a eucalyptus out of here. And put them in here so that everybody can have a nasal thing to clear out their noses when they get a cold or something. Along with um, these... I'm making salves. I've already made some. This is an Arnica salve. It's meant for pain. Um, I've used it and it works really well for those sore muscles and things. It's, it's like using a, a aspirin type salve and um, it works pretty well. Anyways, I've got three or four, no, three different salves that I'm making um, when all is said and done this hopefully will be like um, an icy hot salve I'm not sure how well it's going to work I've already tried some of this oil on me and I'm thinking I don't feel it but then I tend to need something a whole lot more than most people with most people it, it burns so I'm, I'm hesitant on adding 
more things in there to make it burn. Um, that is a like an icy hot. This is a self heal salve. As if you know from uh, some of my other videos, self heal is one of my favorite herbs to use. Seems to be good on anything. You can use it anywhere. Um, if you have a cut or something, you can use this on it. It'll stop the bleeding pretty much right away. If it's very deep, though, I wouldn't use a salve on it. I would go to the hospital and have a stitch. But um, this works great on uh, blistering things, burns, abrasions, things like that. And then I, uh, I started some new salve. My last video was on goldenrod. It's supposed to have the same properties as self heal. And um, I've, I've really never made a salve out of it before, but I thought I would give it a shot and see what happens. Now, as far as uh, some of the other things, these are just ideas. You can go to the Grow Fully website and get these little seed packets and and just print them off and make them if you have seeds to pass out um, now I also went to I'm gonna say Serica Serica studio dot com I got these little envelope patterns which I thought would be great to put like earrings or something like that in I only printed off a couple because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. Um, it looks like a little dinky envelope. But you basically do the same thing here. You print them off, fold them up, tape them up, and you got a little envelope. They're, um, you know, maybe a two and three quarter by uh, maybe one one and three quarter, almost two by three, something like that. It's, it's real close. Anyways, I thought it would be great to put some of these little earrings inside. Aren't those pretty? I'd like to put them on cards, which is what I was doing here, and these. I put some on cards, and then put them in my little Ziplocs. But um, I've still got some ideas going. Uh, I found in some of my stuff this nice finished tab. Uh, it's got a little uh, quartz in there. I'm not sure what the brown is. Maybe it's a smoky brown quartz. I don't know because I don't know my rocks very well. But I am getting a rock, uh, yes, a rock tester. And uh, maybe it can tell me what some of these things are, so I'll be able to tell my grandchildren. But um, just ideas for Christmas, and I'm getting on it early. I have a granddaughter that's a little older that these I just really like. It's, they're blue and a green together, and I'm debating on cleaning them first. But I like them. And I hope she will, too. They're dangly, so I don't know. Most of my grandkids don't wear dangly earrings. These are all just small posts. Well, actually, for me, they're kind of big. These are, are balls, and there's a pair of hearts. And then there was a pair of, like, um, horseshoes with a little piece of, um, of blue at the top. Um, I don't think it's a real stone, but... There's a, another little girl that calls me grandma that I'm doing a, a little basket for as well. But just in my excitement, I had to show you guys everything I had going on. So think about this for gifts for Christmas. Uh, if you're as broke as I am, this is a good idea. Uh, if you can collect a seed, then collect the seed. If not, then... You know, there's just little things you can throw in here. You can throw in cough drops, uh, which I probably will, and maybe some hand lotions, uh, little sanitizer, hand sanitizers. Um, 
maybe even some um, band-aids and things just just little things so that they have a, uh, a small basket and I'll stick them all down in a plastic bag and and tie some ribbon around it and that'll be Christmas for everybody but like I said there's all kinds of things you can do so think about what you want to do and go for it thanks for watching